Nakapag-impake na raw si Sen. Antonio Trelliane sakaling may ilabas na warrant of arrest ang Makati RTC Branch 148 ngayong araw. Sa Branch 148 nakasampa ang kasong kudeta laban si Sen. na isang non-billable offense. Pero hindi nag-issue ng arrest warrant at hold departure order ang judge. Not today, sir. Not today. I don't know when it will be. Sir, so if you need more time for that po, sir? Maybe, yes. Kaya si Trillanes tila nakahinga ng maluwag. It's something that I did not expect. When you're psyched up for something, yun na yun eh, di ba? Pero so kung hindi, di... But it's a welcome development, uh, don't get me wrong. Magandang ano yun, uh, feeling. Hindi naman itinuloy ng kampo ni Trillanes ang paghain ng petisyon sa Supreme Court ngayong araw. Maging ang motion for reconsideration para sa warrant of arrest na inilabas ng Makati RTC Branch 150. Hihintayin daw muna nila ang desisyon ng Branch 148 dahil baka pumabor ito sa kanya. Chill muna tayo. There's a glimmer of hope. Um, and uh, that hope is still alive. And uh, thanks to the prayers of uh, the people who are concerned for my welfare. Kaya ganun yun. And I'm still here. But uh, sabi ko nga, um, it's early days yet. So we'll have to check our um, excitement. Wala rin daw aasahang sorry mula sa kanya si Solicitor General Jose Calida. Inalmahan ni Calida ang alegasyon ni Trillanes na siya ang kumuha ng kanyang amnesty application. Banta pa ni Calida, kakasuhan niya ng libel si Trillanes kung hindi hihingi ng paumanhin. He's in no position to demand anything. He knows the truth. Yung buong Pilipinas alam yung katotohanan. So, kung uh, magka-file siya, gawin niya, uh, E trip niya yan, di ba? Uh, so, he can, he can do whatever he wants. I expect the worst out of him. Umaaksyon may Anlos Baños, News 5.